Next episode, we soar into the holiday spirit in London. We are back in Europe to explore enchanting Christmas markets, glide across beautiful ice skating rinks, bask in the glow of Christmas lights and experience the magic of winter wonderland this Christmas season. Don't miss out. Like and subscribe to follow along with our top line travels. And we're off, jumping on a plane from Africa to dive into the magical Christmas vibes of London. And we made it to London. It's two degrees, so we are all rugged up, the sun's out, and we're ready to explore. Navigating London is a breeze with the tube. The city's efficient and convenient underground system is the best way to get around. Our first stop in London, Spitterfields Market. Gonna get some nice hot drinks. And some yummy lunch. These markets transform at Christmas time with twinkling lights and a festive atmosphere where the spirit of the season comes alive. Walking around, it's so beautiful here. So many different things you can look through. About to grab some nice yeah, food. Good. Got some spicy Arabiata pasta and it's literally perfect because it's so cold. So this is warming me up and it's so yum. And we've stumbled across a vintage marketplace. I'm very keen to like that. Brick Lane underground vintage markets exude a nostalgic charm offering hidden treasures and timeless fashion. Pay your exploration with a visit to the nearby tea rooms on Brick Lane, a historic old Truman brewery which has been transformed into a trove of vintage treasures amidst the bustling city. We've made it to Mayfair and there are so many people everywhere. It's actually pandemonium. Brad and I haven't seen no. this many people in months. Mayfair dazzles in a festive glow at Christmas time as Christmas lights illuminate the streets, harmonizing with London's enchanting shop displays to create a magical holiday spectacle. Mayfair Christmas Market. Tree truckers because it's a Saturday night, but it's gorgeous. Mayfair's Christmas Market is quite small, giving it a cozy atmosphere with stalls full of festive treats to choose from. We fought the crowds and got ourselves the yummy hot glue vibe and we're definitely feeling in the Christmas spirit right now. Day two of exploring London. We have taken a tube into town. We're here at Big Ben. We're walking across the bridge now to the London Eye where there's another Christmas market that we really want to check out. It's very cold today, no <laughs> sun. I think it's it's only three degrees, so I'm ready for a nice warm drink from the markets. We're about to walk into the South Bank Winter Markets here, just down the road from the London Eye. The South Bank Winter Markets feature a captivating craft fair where locals showcase their handmade treasures. It's a great place to sip on mulled wine and wander through the stalls, lapping up all the Christmas cheer. Heading into the craft market now. Heaps of food stalls and a massive beer garden at the back. One mulled wine for Rainy. Thank you. Oh, yum. Shake and squeezing. Soon we were back on the tube to go and find some more must-see Christmas markets in London. Trafalgar Square Christmas Markets is in the heart of London and offers charming stalls, festive decorations and yummy treats. <laughs> oh my goodness. How yeah. is it? So good. Perfect on a cold day. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna roll out of London. There's so much yummy food and drinks here. Stopped in at Wasabi Sushi and Bento, which is just out the front of Harrods for a quick sushi lunch. I got the yummy ramen miso and Brad got a chicken rice bowl. We made it to famous Harrods. Harrods. Gonna head in and have a little shop around because it is festive season, so we do need to do a little bit of shopping but I can't wait to look inside because I think it's going to be decorated absolutely beautifully. Harrods is a beacon of luxury in London, which transforms into a winter wonderland during the Christmas season. Captivating visitors with its opulent displays and festive charm, the dedicated Christmas store within Harrods is a treasure trove for holiday delights, featuring exquisite decorations, gourmet treats and exclusive gifts, making it a must-visit destination for those seeking a touch of festive indulgence. We've made reservations tonight at the Ivy in Chelsea Garden. The restaurant's known for its art-filled spaces and it has a Christmas-inspired menu. So we've booked in and I can't wait. Arrived at the Ivy in Chelsea and look at the decorations as you walk in. Oh. 
Look how gorgeous the bathrooms are. The Ivy Restaurant is another venue that transforms into a festive haven during the Christmas period. It has the most delicious food. We ended our evening with some Christmas pudding, which was amazing. We're back on the tube heading into town again today. Today is Winter Wonderland Day. We are heading to Buckingham Palace and then walking to Hyde Park for Winter Wonderland. Hyde Park is so beautiful and although it's a bit rainy today, it almost adds to the atmosphere. There's so many autumn leaves still falling from the trees and it's just a, such a magical space. I love, love, love it. First things first, the mulled wine. Oh, yes. Yum. Hot. Oh, wow, that's good. We're in Bavarian village. Finding a fireplace to have our mulled wine by. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Heading into Thor's Tiki Bar for a little pint. Oh, it's awesome. Cheers. Thor's Tiki Bar. Oh my gosh. There you go. This is going to be so cool. We're going all the way up there. Look, this is what we're about to do. Heading to the ice bar now. We're hoping they give us gloves, otherwise we're gonna be in and out. Yeah, we Very might cool. die. It's so freaking cold. Love's happy day. Getting all rugged up before we go in. Nice and fresh in here. Ice cocktails. Ice cups. Yummy. Yum. How's it? Warm? It's so cold. It's so cold. Is it cold, Rain? We have to leave. It's too much. It's, it's too much, is it? I think I'm going to actually have my pizza here, guys. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, go, go. It's about minus 10 in here. We're a few drinks down. And some the fire. So good. Now we're off to go watch the crazy circuit. It's heated, thank goodness, because it's so cold out there. Brad, you want popcorn? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Mm, yummy. So much fun. So much to see and do here. And it definitely makes you feel like it is the season. It is the season to be jolly. The Covent Garden Christmas tree is so beautiful. And it's absolutely massive. Definitely cool. worth coming out here and having a little look. And there's literally endless markets. 
Covent Garden captivates with its historic charm, bustling markets and lively street performers. Each stall showcases unique crafts, festive delights and eateries, turning the heart of London into a merry celebration of the season. We've decided to walk from Covent Garden and the markets there through to Somerset House. There's lots and lots of shops and restaurants to peek your head in along the way, so it's a good walk. Somerset House is one of the many spots in London that you can ice skate. It does get super busy, so I'd recommend booking, but we are all ready to go and hit the ice and watch as the sun goes down and the lights start to sparkle. And that Christmas tree is just so beautiful, I can't wait. There is a rosé skate lounge at the skate rink where you can relax with a beverage and watch the ice skating. Stopped in at the lounge here at Somerset House and got some hot chocolate. So sitting and watching the skaters before it's our turn to hit the ice. So much harder than uh, We survived a few rounds, but with a few close calls. Too. Yeah, yeah. But hopefully we get better and better as the time goes. Got the hang of it now, and it's so much fun. Woo! Got to dodge all the humans though, because there's so many people around. But if you're in the area, you should definitely check out this gorgeous skating rink. It's beautiful. After ice skating, we have made our way to Seven Dogs. A bit of a food hall, so we'll see what we like and dig in. If you're in the area, you have to check out the cheese bar. It's a sushi train, but for different types of cheeses. All the different cheeses on the train, you just take your pick and off you go. And it smells really yum. Yum. They even give you little crackers. Finishing the night with a yummy chocolate chip cookie. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Walking around the city district today, and behind me is St. Paul's Cathedral and it is honestly so gorgeous. We're walking around and we've stumbled across Leiden Hall Market which is famous for being the Harry Potter Hall here in London. <laughs> Walking past Tower of London and we're going to cross the bridge and head to Borough Market. The sun's out and we're at Tower Bridge. It's so pretty. So many little Christmas stalls all along the promenade here. Stopped in for some yummy pies. So yummy. Mm. <laughs> OMG, look at that. Um, chocolate covered strawberries, fire market, five side vibes. <laughs> fire markets is over a thousand years old and one of London's oldest surviving fruit and veg markets. And it's massive. Tonight, Brad and I have booked in to go and see a theatre show. We're going to see Jazzy Boys. We've been told so many good things about it, so we cannot wait. Currently walking down one of the main strips and the lights here are just so beautiful. We're going to go find some dinner and then we hit the theatre. Busy night. Cheeky little pub feed for the show. Well, here we go. Cheery. Please stop. Really very excited for Jazzy Boys. Ready to go. Yep, here we go. Just finished watching. 
watching <laughs> Jersey Boys and it was fantastic. It was excellent. Such a good show. I highly recommend going to see it. It was so good. It was worth everything. Our next episode takes us to one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world, Namibia, as we see more of the beauty of Africa. Join us as we embark on an epic road trip, traversing the breathtaking landscapes, meeting fascinating local tribes and immersing ourselves in the rich culture. Get ready for camping in the wilderness and thrilling safaris where we'll encounter the incredible wildlife that calls Namibia home. Like and subscribe to follow along with our top line travels.